let's change up the text in our home page. Let's say, welcome to the home page, and we'll give it an H1 above this with just the text home so we can see what page we're currently on. And now let's add another page to our pages directory called about.js. So this will be for our about page and about route. So it'll be a stateless functional component. It'll contain a div. We'll give it an h1, the text about. It'll have a set of p tags. And here, just include a brief description saying we are a JavaScript programmer. And maybe we want to include a JavaScript logo underneath it. So how do we serve images? How do we add image files to next projects? Well, first we need to add a static folder. We'll create a new folder called static in the root of our project. And we can go to the internet or wherever we want to grab this JavaScript logo from. So we'll do a quick Google search. Grab our logo. We'll right click and save the image. And we want to save this to our static folder. So we'll go to our next portfolio folder, select static. I'll save this as JavaScript logo. We'll save that. And then we can reference image files from this folder as slash static slash the name that we provided. So it's JavaScript logo dot PNG. And I'll give it the alt text of JavaScript. And I'll just directly set a height of 200 pixels. Now let's try out our about route. Looks like I forgot to export the about component. So we don't even have to write export default at the very bottom after declaring the name of our function. We can just immediately export it with export default if we choose not to name it. So now we can see in our about route, our about h1, our JavaScript logo being served from the static folder, and our paragraph text. Now the question is, how do we get from one page to another? Well, we could try including a set of link tags. We can reference just the home route. We can say, from the about page, go to home. But if we click on the link, I'll go back. If we click on the link, take a look at our refresh icon, we're doing a full server pushback. We're making what's essentially a request to the server for this page that we're directing to. If we look at the network tab, we can confirm this. So if we're at the about route, and we click go to home, we're making a request for the HTML document here. We don't want that. We just want JavaScript to take over. We want our client-side JavaScript to redirect from about to home and wherever we're going to in our application using the history API, using the history push state. We'll do so by importing from next, what's known as the next link from next slash link. All we need to do is wrap the set of A tags that we created with this link component, so to speak. And instead of having the href on the link tags, move it to the link itself, the next link. So now, we can look at the network again. We can see that we're definitely not requesting the same assets. We're not requesting an HTML page when we're redirecting from the about route. We're just using the history API here. And we can do the same for our index page and say go to about, and it's going to have an href of slash about. We'll import link from next slash link. And we'll include a set of p tags here in our welcome to put it on a separate line. So now our page isn't reloading. We're able to redirect very quickly with the help of the link tags here.